Hi everybody, Liz Bigler here from Bigler ESL. Today I'm gonna to talk about a word that is often misused by Japanese speakers of English and the word is maybe, maybe. Okay, the problem with maybe is it's a very easy word to use. And um, Japanese speakers of English think that it means the same thing as taboon, but in fact, it does not mean the same thing. Um, and so people will use it in a situation like um, I was working with a Japanese uh, woman the other day and we were we had a time set up to meet and then she said, oh, I forgot I have to do something. Maybe I can't come at that time. So because I work with Japanese people all the time, I understood what she meant. Um, basically, she's She's saying she can't come at that time, but she's using the word maybe to try to make it feel softer, like it's not quite so harsh. But that is not how we use that word in English. And when, when somebody says something like that, maybe I can't come tomorrow, it just, to a typical American, it, that, that is just a crazy thing to say. It doesn't make any sense at all. It's like saying, um, uh, maybe the sky is not blue. Like it might be, but it might not be. It doesn't, it doesn't mean yes or no. It's just a possibility. So uh, taboon sort of means I'm pretty sure of this thing, but maybe just means that it's a possibility. You know, if I don't, if my husband is looking for his keys and I don't know where they are, I say, oh, I don't know, maybe they're in the car. Maybe they're in your pocket. Maybe they're like, I don't know. I'm just giving uh, possibilities that might be true. And so that's, um, that's the problem. And then the other problem is, okay, well, what word should we use instead of maybe? And that depends on the situation. So that's what makes it hard. So for example, in the case of my, my friend who couldn't come at that time, um, she should say something like, I, I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to be able to make it. Or, you know, I forgot that I can't make it. Or, you know, in that case, it's not even probably. It's, she's, she's telling us that she can't come. Um, another example was <clears throat> I had a, a teacher who worked for me who gave a, a sample lesson to a child as, as part of an arrangement we had worked out. We were going to see if the child enjoyed the lesson enough to keep doing it. So afterwards, um, I wrote the mother and said, well, you know, did he enjoy it? This was a Japanese family. And she wrote back and said, maybe he enjoyed it. And when I sent it to the, when I sent that response to the teacher who was American, she said, what does that mean? Maybe he enjoyed it. Of course, maybe he enjoyed it, but did he or not? Now, in that case, what the mother could have said was, he seemed to enjoy it, or I think he enjoyed it. So in that case, um, it would be said differently. Um, and then there's probably, so like, if the weather forecast says rain tomorrow, I wouldn't say maybe it's gonna rain tomorrow. If I'm pretty sure that it is, I might say it's probably gonna rain tomorrow, or we're probably gonna have to cancel the picnic for tomorrow. So probably, or I think, or even just um, saying the, the truth. So I know that it's, it, it's so convenient and easy to use this word, but it doesn't mean what a lot of Japanese people think it means. And it, it's very confusing for Americans because they recognize it as English, but it doesn't make sense to say, um, you know, maybe he enjoyed it, or maybe I can't come, especially when it's negative. Maybe I can't come. <laughs> it's just like, okay, what does that mean? We just don't understand what it means. Um, but if you say something like, you know, maybe I can come tomorrow, that means it's possible, but you don't know yet. In any case, when you use the word maybe, it means you don't know. It's just a possibility. Okay, so I hope that this helps. If you are interested in learning more about how Americans speak English and, and how Japanese people sometimes are misunderstood, I hope you'll join me for, um, we have private lessons, we have group lessons, 
We have a couple of free lessons through the Japan America Society. Um, today is May 12th, 2020. So if you get this, if you hear this before the end of May, that you might still be able to catch one of those free classes that I'll be teaching. But otherwise, let me know if you'd like to have private lessons or group lessons. I would love to help you. Take care and stay safe. Bye.